Okay, the other regulator you guys are going to be working with a lot is called a purge regulator. And I've got some videos where we're going to talk about exactly why we use this and, and how we use it. Uh, but for now, I want to show you just how it gets hooked up and installed on your bottle. With this particular regulator, we only allow a very small amount of nitrogen to come out of the regulator. And it's in preset points. You can see the notch here. And currently it is in the off position. I can turn the knob to a brazing position, purging position, and a test position. So these are all fixed amounts of pressure that will come out of this regulator, okay? Uh, you can also see that this has a hand knob on here for attaching it to the regulator, which means you do not need a crescent wrench to attach it. Just line it up. Turn it in by hand till it stops and give it another little, little bit of rotation on there and that should be it. So now in this, I want to make sure my regulator is in the off position before opening my bottle. And if you can see on here that we're in the green zone here as being full. Now, when I open up and turn my regulator to braise, you can hear just a very small amount of, of nitrogen coming out of here. And that's just going to put a small amount of nitrogen into our refrigerant system as we braise it. And I'll show you why that's important later on. This is a fairly new device. It's a, it's a problem that we've had with uh, refrigerant piping for a long time when we're braising, but Excuse the noise in the background, that's my trash truck coming around the, around the, around the turn there. Um, so we're able to uh, run a small amount of nitrogen through our piping as we braise it. Um, pretty important that we do that nowadays. So, so when you're done, it's a matter of turning your regulator back to off, um, close, my nitrogen valve all the way, and then I need to purge out the nitrogen that's in my regulator system right now, because I've got 2,000 pounds of pressure in here. So I need to just, I'll go to a purge setting, purge out that 2,000 pounds of pressure, go back to the off setting, take my nitrogen purge regulator back off, Again, put it back in a box. Put the regulator in a box, put it in your truck. Secure your nitrogen bottle in your truck so that it doesn't roll around and snap off the end of it with 2,000 pounds of pressure and you're good to go.